All right there, Latin 2. I had a chance to get some floss and get that tomato seed out of my mouth. Uh, so here we are talking about adverbs today. All right, I'm going to talk to you about all the different kinds, so you might need to pause to take notes and what have you. So adverbs modify verbs, first of all, but they also modify other adverbs. And they also modify, they, they modify everything. They're, they're cool that way. It's awesome. Um, so they do that. Uh, they exist in the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. So not only can you have someone run far, you can run, have someone run farther, and you can have somebody run very far. So let's talk about the positives. <laughs> let's talk about the positive. <clears throat> so a positive adverb, you take an adjective and you knock off the ending and you add on a. So long usaun turns to longe. You might remember strenu usaum went to strenue. But sometimes you've got a third. So brewis is a turns to brewiter. Fortis is a turns to fortiter. However, sometimes you've got a participle or just any adjective that ends in the third declension with an ns ntis. So if there's an nt in the stem, you add an er instead of an eter. So amans, amantis, loving. You want to say lovingly, amanter. Sometimes, if you've got one of those liquid consonant endings, difficilis, difficile, turns to difficile. It's kind of hard to tell the difference sometimes, but it's there. Okay? So that's positives. So that's how you convert an adjective into an adverb. That's the important part. That's positives. Now let's talk comparatives. Comparatives, okay, and they're pretty simple, okay? No matter what the adjective is, you just use the neuter singular comparative adjective version. So, longius, brevius, fortius, amantius, difficilius. It's never changing, okay? It always does that. Now, an interesting thing that happens, though, if I want to say that someone is comparative, you know, they, they walked farther than somebody else, I could do it one of two ways. I can say Marcus Longius quam sextus ambulat. So Marcus walks farther than sextus. Uh, I could also use the ablative of comparison, sure. Um, or if I wanted to say by how much he did that, for instance, um, he walked much farther or a little farther. Marcus Paolo or Multo. Longius quam sextus ambulat. Marcus walks, okay, a little farther than sextus, or Marcus walks a lot farther than sextus. So you can actually use, okay, a ablative of comparison to tack onto your uh, comparative adverb. So that's a thing that you can do. Or we could do superlatives, okay? What if we want to say that he walked the farthest? <coughs> So superlatives is very simple. Longissimus um, knock off the ending, put on the A. That's true always. Pukerimus um, pukerime. Fakilimus um, fakilime. So it doesn't matter if you're doubling your liquid L's, your liquid R's, or you're just doing a standard one. The usa um turns to an A. Kind of neat. Now, there are a couple grammatical things you can do with superlatives. So, if I wanted to say that you did something as far as possible, you walked as far as possible, quam longissime. Quam plus the superlative adverb means as much of that thing as possible. The next one, longissime omnium. Okay? Uh, I just forgot the macron there. Don't worry. Um, but it means farthest of all. So, it's very similar to your adjectives. Okay, so longissime omnium. He walked farthest of all. Okay, that's how it works. So hopefully you've paused each of those as you've needed to. Uh, what I want you to do now is go to page 74 and 75 and read them. Then I want you to copy the chart on page 75. I want you to copy this chart right here of irregulars. Okay, all of this. But also you might want to copy this down. 
Um, okay, so now that you've copied down the chart on 74 and 75, I want you to do 35G. Uh, 35G is to fill in this chart. Write the whole thing out, okay? It's going to be six spaces long, I believe, at all times. Yeah. Yep, six spaces long, and I forget how many far down. Uh, so make a table. That might be the easiest way to do it. Uh, when you're done with 35G, go ahead, and by the way, they're all given in the nominative masculine singular, so give them all uh, in the nominative masculine singular. Uh, and then when you're done with that, do 35D, as in canis. Okay, so, hic servus est ignavissimus omnium, nullum servum ignavioorem habet Cornelius. Just translate it. So this slave is the laziest of all. Uh, Cornelius has no lazier slave. So it's kind of a, a regression back into the, um, the adjectives, okay? Uh, so yeah, do 35G and 35D, all right? I'm gonna hit the button.